Hello from the EU IPO and welcome to today's Ideas Powered for Business talk done specially to help businesses thrive. Today's talk is done with a member of IA Ideas Powers for Business Network, a network to help and empower startups and small businesses like you all over Europe. Our special guest today is Early Warning Europe. They are in turn a network with 28 partners from across the EU and some of them are joining us today. Their goal is to improve resilience of companies in crisis, but today we want to help you avoid a crisis and take the right path from the very beginning. It is a fact that small businesses and startups are 99% of EU businesses, but less than 60% of them survive more than five years. So that's, these first years are crucial. So let me ask Morten Möller, who is the coordinator of Early Warning Europe, how come that so many companies don't last? Well, it's simple. Many businesses invest and take risks without proper data and without an overview of the consequences of their actions. And among startups, we see some obvious competence gaps in things like contract law, cash flow budgeting, organization, and human resources. It's impossible to be a one-man band and to know it all. And that's why it's no surprise that many businesses simply outgrow their initial structure and they can't make the jump to the next level. Speaking about jumping to the next level and how to do so, I'm happy to have here with us today Ole Bang Nielsen, who was a mentor in Early Warning. Ole helps businesses in crisis, but he pays special attention to preventing crisis from the very start. So Ole, may I ask you, what advice would you give any startup to make them resilient over time? What is your magic wand? Well, uh, the famous Chinese warlord Sun Tzu said it actually to the point, every battle is won before it is fought. Planning is everything, and the same goes for startups. Uh, we see too many startups with good products that fail simply because they didn't have a plan. The jump from developing the best products and perhaps to a successful proof of concept and to be a successful scaler is too often underestimated. The best advice from me would be get help. Nobody masters all disciplines. Get a mentor, get an advisory board or even an executive board, but have somebody. Look at your business in all relevant areas, such as intellectual property, go to market plans, budgets, and of course, cash flow. Unforeseen cash flow problems are the root for most failures, actually. And if things do not go as planned uh, as they seldom do, uh, be prepared to be flexible and again, get help to adjust accordingly. Getting expert help when setting up and planning a business seems key. Leili Irampur, who is the startup founder of Clarenzi, which is an online portal for sustainable and transparent shopping, is here with us. Um, Leili, kindly tell us what is your mission and what are your tips for startups? Hello, everyone, and thank you for having me. The mission of Clarency is to accelerate the world's transition to responsible consumption and production. I'm here thanks to Morten from Early Warning. I really recommend Early Warning's resilience courses and mentorship. They have really helped me. My main tips is to get training and advice from the start. I had two university advisors and then took Early Warning courses. I now collaborate with Early Warning by acting as a mentor to new startups. One tip I was given by my advisors was to contact the community of law students. They found that there were already an established company with a similar name to the one I had in mind for my company. So I had to create a new brand and use intellectual property to protect my rights and avoid lawsuits. Yes, intellectual property is what the EU IPO is all about. As you know, we are registering trademarks, that is brands and designs all over Europe. We also offer an online search pool to check if there are similar existing ones. So this is, goes in line with what Lely just explained. Your company, Lely, is an example of a knowledge-based startup. So basically, your intellectual property is one of your main vital assets in, at least in the launching phase. Um, I'm very happy to have here Martin Bögenskjör with us, who is an IP expert and legal advisor for early warning. Martin, what is your advice for startups? One, that startups and scale-ups need to be aware of the four pits, and two, that intellectual property 
is one of the most valued assets which needs to be secured. And three, get help. So I, I recently had a case from early warning uh, where two fantastic guys had invented a solution to a very common problem within a specific area of, uh, of the food in- industry. And to scale up, uh, they engaged a couple of investors that, that made a lot of promises, uh, but the founders did not isolate their IP rights in case of a failure, and they did not seek advice on patenting, and they did not seek advice before entering into an owner's agreement with the investors. So, so when the investor did not perform in any way, uh, the founders could not get rid of them. And, and they could not regain their IP rights. So, so the company, unfortunately, went bankrupt. And you could ask, couldn't the founders have found new investors? Yes, they could. But the original investors, they w- wouldn't negotiate. They would not be reasonable. And the agreements, they were not in favor of the founders. So from my point of view, a, a possible f- future success was lost. And unfortunately, it, it was not an early warning this case. It was a late warning. So my advice for anyone starting a company, seek help from all the public uh, offered services like early warning and you guys in, in the EU IPO. You, know, you can provide with free legal advice and at an early stage. So, and the effort, and if you need further help, you know, the small amount of money that you use on professional advisors, they are, again, from my perspective, they're well giving out and will be paid back many fold. Thank you, Martin, for sharing with us this valuable experience and insight. I will summarize the help that EUIPO can provide later on in this talk. But for right now, I would like to turn once more to Morten Möller. Morten, help from others and risk prevention are key to be resilient in the first years. If I were a startup, already kind of facing trouble, what would early warning you suggest I do? Well, I think we would suggest uh, every business owner to take our startup resilience classes on our website. Uh, They're free of charge. And of course, as you heard, we also offer mentoring and legal advice. Uh, You have Ole and Leili here today, for example. Thank you all so much for your expertise and for your time today. You certainly helped many, many businesses. To the public, here's a summary of uh, how to be in the 60% of resilient businesses to make sure that you will survive and strive in the first few years. The buzzwords are get advice and funds. Early warning offers free courses and a mentoring system. The EU IPO in addition coordinates free IP support where legal volunteers offer EU businesses basic advice, such as what type of intellectual right could protect a certain idea. And then we offer also a more in-depth service called the IP scan, which is done in collaboration with National IP Office to help develop a proper business strategy. We also strongly recommend early warning and the EU IPO to you specialist. As to the funds, get the finances right. Early warning offers courses and advice, and the EU IPO offers refunds to register and protect your ideas with intellectual property. On the topic and funds and funding, we are happy to announce our next Ideas Powered for Business talk, which will be with our other partners from, this, from the network, Eurocrowd. Until then, thank you, everybody, and see you.